we're on the home straight now. So yesterday, Trevor and I dot and dabbed the utility room in the back. Um, he's going to skim the ceiling today, so he's he's sort of underway with that. We just knocked up a gauge for him. Terry, the chippy, is he's just installed a pocket door, and we found that we we need to make up some intricate little pieces to trim round it. So I brought in the um, the table saw, and we've just had to rip off some little pieces. I'll show you in a second when we go in. Um, and over here, my mission today. We've got a piece on the end which we need to put some brick slips on out of these uh, these bricks. So we're just going to grind off along there all the way round. I'm only using a four inch cutter. So I found that I can get it squarer if I go all the way round. So I go, I go through that way, mark the two ends and then through the back. Um, and then the tile adhesive will take out any discrepancy that's there. So I've got a few more of those to cut, a few I've done. Right, so this is a little pocket door. Terry's just installed this. Um, and these are the little pieces I mentioned. They don't provide them in the kit. So it, there's a door line in here, but obviously you can't have it to here because it's, but, so we've had to form these little bits of timber and trim them down. So when the architrave comes on, it looks like a proper door opening. So inside we built a stud wall, it's got OSB, you can see that there. It's got some insulation in, but that is, so when the um, kitchen units go in, in the utility, you've got a really strong fixing point. Um, and let me just slide this in. And then we've got um, the shower trays installed and then we're doing the same sort of treatment. So we've studded it out in three by two to hide the vent, all the pipe work. And then this is gonna have OSB as well, because when you fix your, your shower fittings, you wanna have a really good um, bit of grounds to, to screw it to. So that's that reason. And every, there's a piece there that's gonna accommodate the, the shower screen. We're gonna to have to put a little piece through here as well, a bit of OSB or some ply. I think there's only 12 mil there. It just gives it the, uh, the screw something else to pick up into. Um, let me just slide that open. And then where have we got? Everywhere there's an X, there's going to be, we're going to put some more of that just so we've got good fixings where there's going to be some um, sanitary wear. So this is the utility room. You can see we've um, we boarded it all, ceiling's done. Trevor's just scrimmed it up and he's just skimming on the first coat. We've got a little loft hatch there, so we've got a bit of um, access to the loft so the electrician can get in and do his thing. So Trevor, just put the first coat on and you'll get this done today, won't you Trevor? No. Whole room? No. Huh? Half of it. Yeah. <laughs> the top half or the bottom half? I'm going to do the top half and you know what I'm like, I'm slow and rough. Yep. <laughs> Don't believe him, he's very good at his Trev. So yeah, crack on Trev. Right, so there are firms that will do this for you, but around here you have to send them off and it takes about three weeks to get your brick slips. So for the sake of a, a disc in the grinder and a couple of hours work, I might as well do it myself.
be down as a singing branch behind it. Generally, says it's a tough old disease, like the infection in so many ways. Yeah, better to have too much and not enough on this one because okay. otherwise it won't go off. Yeah. To see the time. How cheap is it, Carl? It's not now, since lockdown, it was about four or five quid a bag. Now it's only 11 quid, isn't it? Yeah. So Sam, are you all finished here? Yeah, we've uh, just had um, the building inspector around. He is happy with everything we've done. He's going to do the certification and then um, I'm out here, so it's all done. Here, we've actually moved the pathway. Here is where the old pathway, that the client wanted it moved so it's more central, a better runway up. So this has been done. The new step has been formed. That's very similar to what was there before, but it's all been projected for further forward. Little curb stone, just to some continuity to around the back. This is a little curb. You've seen about the pillar. There's a little trim been added just across the door there, just to complete the uh, the look. The grass is growing back. The original gate has been reinstalled and that's all been painted so that's uh, just been taken off and um, prepped up and painted to go back on. So this was where the original door would have been so that's all been removed and projected forward to here. So this is their new little porch that's given them an extra bit of space where all their shoes and coats can hang. So that's all gone very well. This is the utility room that's um, now completed. The decorators are in here, so the clients are doing their own decorating. We've fitted all the skirting board. There's an insulated loft hatch so they can utilize that space. Doors are all swinging. They've just taken off the door furniture so they can oil these up. So this is gonna be fitted out. They're doing that themselves with some tall cupboards, but that's we've, we've just done the shell. So it's uh, all finished here. So this room is what they've they kind of called their snug, but it's actually going to be an area for their children to hang out in. They've got a TV, there's an ensuite there, so a loo and a shower room. And here is going to be a desk where my client um, is going to have a little office space. So that's that. So if we walk through into their little ensuite. So our job here was just to build the shell, put the there's a pocket door here, let me just, so that's a, a um, saves a lot of space. So there's a shower there, a loo there, and a little basin here, but that's not my department. Their plumber is gonna do all of that. So it was our job just to build the shell. So Sam, are you happy with how things have gone in this project? Yeah, I am. It's, um, originally I wanted to be here for nine weeks, but it's taken, about four weeks longer but that's not all my problem there's been some problems with order and a few of the products other than that it's come in on budget i always like to come in on budget inspector's been he's happy so yeah i'm happy about that what would you say is the most challenging aspect of this uh, extension project i would say organizing all of the the right trades at the right time getting them all here when i need them but that is, it's all worked out beautifully well from doing the grounds work to getting the, the brick work up to the roof. Um, obviously Dan Cox has helped us 
with that um, getting the windows fitted then all the plastering it's all worked out beautifully well so I've been very lucky with all the people that have helped me and uh, I'd just like to say thank you to all of them one last thing Sam if you were to take on another extension project what would you do differently next time I'd make sure I persuade the clients not to use LBC Tudors or any LBC product I'd find uh, from the off I'd make sure I'd showed them um, something that looked like it and insisted that we use those. So where are you and Jen off to next? Uh, our next project is just a little bit of uh, landscaping we're going to build a pergola um, only locally so that's our next project. How are you getting on with your your new toy Sam? The uh, little Makita cut-off saw yeah I think it's fantastic I'll just show you just the power of it this step obviously being on a radius a semicircle every single one of those has got a cut in believe it or not it took six five amp hour makita batteries to do that so i'm pretty impressed with it you know that's pretty good and we're going to have a, a full review soon aren't we sam yeah we'll we'll show it in action i'm going to use it tomorrow actually to do some um fencing to cut off some um, gravel boards and things like that so we'll put it to the test there but yeah overall already I'm I think it's fantastic don't know what I've done without it right I'm gonna I'm gonna let you get on with your busy day now Sam yeah and uh, you, we'll, we'll see you again soon on skill builder great stuff thank you